Hey, what's up guys? So, first off, we're playing the blue, uh, discarded a Gishki Shadow, and one of the cards that lets him add the, uh, the ritual. Uh, this is versus... TH Swingus in the, in the blue at 12.03, versus Blue Tofu here in the red at 11.87. So, uh, he gets Zeal's effect. Okay, so I haven't seen Gishki see any place since, uh, they ruined the loop. Um... Okay, so he says response to effect, and this effect is you can pay a thousand life points and draw one card. If it is a Gishi card, um, shuffle one card onto the field into the deck. Well, that's that's pretty good, but like there's nothing. Uh, effect. Oh, he's gonna put his own card back into the deck. Mirror effect. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. I and mirrors like you return the ritual monster, I guess, and then. Put mirror back into the deck. I, I don't understand, but I think I think this card's pretty good. You can basically uh, make one card on their field go back to the deck. But what good does that really do? <laughs> you kind of went minus yourself. But I really don't know the combo now in Gishki or how it essentially runs. So well, that card's got pretty good attack though, 3200. And we see a Cyber Dragon, and then it's gonna be tributed for Solar Wind Jammer. Now this is probably a new card. I haven't seen any of these. Um, what is this? I don't even understand. He, special Cyber Dragon to summon that? And so he tributed... Yeah, he did tribute Cyber Dragon to this. Ooh, a ghost ship! Now, I forgot about this card. Uh, can I be normal summon on our set? Must be slow summon from your hand by banishing one light monster in your graveyard. Okay. And he's gonna go for Constellar Pleiades. And what does that card do? You do not have material to target one card on the field. Return that. So these cards are... Both these guys are all about the returning. <laughs> I like that. But, uh, you know, I've never seen anyone play the, is this, like, a ship deck? This looks like a ship, doesn't it? Uh, like, it's got sails on, like, the top and bottom. Not really sure how that would work in the water, but I think it's in space right now. This one kind of looks like, eh, I think that one's in the water. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't understand the play of the Gishki and then going minus for yourself. That, to me, just doesn't make any sense. Um, but maybe it, it'll, it'll show itself. Uh, later on, because I'm actually kind of curious to see why he did that. But it's a face down Mother Grizzly. Okay. Now, this card got reprinted as Secret Rare in uh, Legendary Collection Yugi World. Okay, and he's going to special summon uh, Gishki Abyss. And let's go. Oh, what is this card effect? Oh. Uh, you can. You can add one Gishki monster for a thousand less defense. Pretty good. That's a pretty good searcher card. Although it doesn't have very good attack or defense. And then go for Aquamere, and uh, okay, so it only gets out Gishkis, right? It's not like because uh, I know like with some of the ritual cards you can get this or something else, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all of the water. Uh, was this during? Wow, during either player's turn? Yep, that is pretty good. He, he <laughs> wow, that card's awesome. I like this card. It does kind of force you to use two cards though. Um, a player in the Blue used actually three cards because he went special and then he specialed the other and then he normal tributed and then he specialed that so kind of minus um, but that card kind of good though I don't know if it's worth it it is a warrior though I'm trying to think if there's any synergy with it but our player in the blue uh, I'm trying to unblue our player in the red named Blue Tofu is probably going to be able to oh he's going to warning that Aquamere and remember that you do have to sell warning the activation of the ritual spell if you want to uh, you know get rid of a uh, uh, a ritual monster summon. You cannot do it on the summoning of the ritual monster. You gotta do it like on this card or like Dawn of the Herald. Um, he's asking if that's okay and he's saying wait. Um, so maybe he's got another... what does this card do? He says okay. I, I think he just wanted to read the card because uh, it's been a while since I've really seen the Gishkis. I, I played it a few times guys. If you guys remember a long time ago, I played with the loop. I was, uh, I was a dirty cheater because uh, the loop was... it's it's really good. And it's going to go for a Diagusu Phoenix. Now, this card's pretty good, but I uh, don't know how Diagusu Phoenix is going to deal with this 2500 attacker. And he's going to Solemn Judgment that. And I disagree, player in the blue. Why not just wait for him to go for the Wind Monster? Like the other monster you're going to go for, and then Solemn Judgment that. Because Diagusu Phoenix didn't do anything by itself. It's just 1500 attack. And it can, it, it can attack twice. I, I don't understand that. If anyone understands that, please let me know, because... I have no idea. So it's going to be a stellar cost. I haven't seen this card before. 
Um, cannot be used as synchro material monster. Up to twice per turn, you can target one start monster field and activate one of these effects. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. So, playing the blue, playing super uh, XYZ deck. That's, that's a really cool big card. Um, Fire Dance Tenki, okay. Oh, okay, so uh, this is all... Oh, only Beast Warriors, okay. Uh, that one counts as Beast Warrior. That was interesting. I still don't... I really felt like I played just slightly misplayed. I'm sure you guys might agree with me on that. I actually want to cast this full set because these are two decks I really haven't seen any of, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what these decks can do. I'm here to see that too. But thanks for watching Game 1, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.